Camo, you good to be back? Oh, mate, absolutely. I mean, uh, it was hard watching that game last week, but he, you know, obviously what, what happened, it wasn't wasn't our best performance, and watching the whole game, you're sort of on the edge of your seat, you want to get amongst it, so I'm, I'm happy that uh, this week I can get out and have a go. Fans will be wanting to, hoping that that was just one out of the box, uh, confident the side can put that behind them. Yeah, absolutely, mate. You know, it happens, in the, it happens every uh, every team, every season. There's uh, games like, for instance, with us, would be against the Rebels and the, and the Brumbies when, you know, you, don't, you put in a, a pretty ordinary performance and the, and the attitude's not right and then you come in the next week and you, and you have a good crack and, and we have done that a couple of times this year so um, yeah, I suppose it's up to us uh, this weekend to do it again. Before you identified what sort of went wrong? Oh, mate, I think, uh, like I mentioned just now, I think it was, it was an attitude attitude thing. Um, you know, it's hard, it's hard to be up every game and, and really be you know, mentally as strong as you can be every game. It's, it's human nature to, uh, to go in waves, but um, you know, unfortunately, like, yeah, pretty much in this sort of game, you have to be at the top all the time. And, and uh, you know, when you slip up, any team can absolutely roll you. So you know, like, like we've been doing a fair bit, you know, trying to get our minds right with a few act activities uh, this week. So yeah, it should work. What, what, is the, sorry, <laughs> what is the attitude of the team going into this weekend? Well, it's uh, well, I mean, we're closer. We, we've, when we sort of have a, a game like that, I think uh, Foley tends to pull the boys in and and uh, you know we talk about a few things, make it you know make the circle, and everyone speaks on equal terms, and we and we uh, nut out a few things of what's going on and how we can fix it. You know, sometimes there's things happening off the field that we need to fix up, and you know we had a good chat and, and uh, you know a couple of team barbies and things like that to get everyone closer and uh, you know ready to fight for each other. A bit more on the line. Sort of must win from here on in. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Do or die. D Day, you got um, you know these next two weeks. I think we've got to win with a bonus point um, on a couple of maybe at least one of the games, and uh, that'll be that'll be no easy feat, um, especially against the Brumbies. But um, mate, yeah, look, it's it's massive for us these two games, and it'll it'll really you know <clears throat> it's a chance to make history here, isn't it? Mate, the Reds had a bit of form last week against the Rebels. <clears throat> There's obviously another Australian derby for them, and next week, so they're looking to finish on a, on a high, aren't they? Oh, absolutely, mate. And, you know, there's always a good rivalry between the, uh, you know, the, the Reds and the and the Force. And um, you know, we're lucky enough to get them earlier this year. And but I'm sure they'll be turning up wanting to spoil their chances, which is, you know, it's fair enough. So, uh, mate, they've, they've, after their last game, they're in some pretty good form. And there's a few areas that uh, look pretty dangerous in their game. So we'll have to, um, like we have been, you know, keep working on it. Certainly, their set piece has been a strong point uh, all season for them, and they're not going to lose anything losing home, I guess. A bit unknown in the back line for you guys? Who's that? The, the Reds. A bit unknown in the back line? Oh, the no. No, look there. No. The guy coming in at centre? Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's fine. That's, um, mate, we've, this is a, it's the same sort of um, similar game plan to how they roll. They've still got, you know, Tafua and, and, and those sort of boys that, um, you know, play that, that strong running game. He, he runs a lot of, uh, you know, cuts up um, in between 10 12 channel with that uh, couple of switches and whatever and hit the line hard. The gain line through their centres is one is a good strong point for them and, and that's something we'll, uh, we'll hopefully shut down. Just come back to the injury. You did it in the Michael Swift in the first test and it just got worse over the next two test matches. And now the third one, you seem to cop quite a bad knock. And oh, yeah, my injury on the old buddy... Mark Peck, yeah, she uh, got a bit of a compression stinger uh, in the first game against France, um, you know, and then every every game since then you got a couple more on top of it. So, sort of uh, the strength went down a bit in the shoulder, but you know, that's that's uh, that's a part of the game. And now it's gained a little bit of strength back, uh, enough to get back in the mix. And and uh, I'm pretty excited because it's it's tough. Uh, even one week out feels like an eternity. You say probably more painful sitting in the stand though watching. Absolutely. Last week. How would it be a way you're with the Wallabies guys with quite a few of the Force teammates on this occasion? Yeah, oh look, it was, it was, uh, it was good finally. Uh, you know, I, I suppose I've got to learn, I've learned to uh, get along with a few of the boys over there, but this time round it was a bit easier with, um, you know, with Cheesy and, uh, and Dog and Pekka coming back into the mix. But, like, you know, he's good on him, but coming back in after, you know, a bit of a stint out and, you know, he, he deserves it, he played well, but my dear, it, it's been, been great having him, having him on board and it's good to see the old, old cheesy, the, the old bright-eyed and, you know, bushy-tailed getting around training. Um, you know, he's all new to him and, and I think uh, I think he'll be a stayer there in, in years to come. And uh, personally for yourself, uh, hoping to get amongst the action this weekend? Yeah, absolutely. I'll hopefully get a bit of, a bit of seed, maybe uh, a couple of meaties, mate, I'm due. So, um, yeah, I, I think we got Zachy at, at uh, 10 there, so I'll be uh, running off that kid. He's, uh, he's pretty quick feet, and he'll uh, 
little dazzling feet, so I'll try and run off him, mate. Good, 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 good